Today was a big day, Mama. Bigger than any other. Belgium is beautiful. Today was the day that I met my second heroes. Roman, Eddie the Boss, Lars, Ben, Reynard, Valgren, Steve and Giacomo. And today was the day that I discovered that today is a big day for them also. Dimension Data! What everyone classifies as nerves is really just anxiety. It's, a, it's an adrenal response to the unknown. Stress creates diamonds, but it also creates hemorrhoids. So what we know is that cortisol reduces time to exhaustion, but dopamine and serotonin increases it. There's such a thing as being happy makes you better. As far as this bike race, it is all in your head. They've already prepped. That's done. It's now about using what physiological capabilities you have, mentally being as strong as possible. The body is made up entirely of atoms and molecules. When these combine into cells and tissue, this is what makes up a high performance athlete. It's our job to make sure that these cells and tissues are functioning in an optimum way, so that the athlete can function at an optimum level. The riders remain in Brussels for stage two. And it's an important... I think it's the smallest things that make the biggest difference. If you think about a cycling team, it consists of eight brilliant individuals. And when you connect them together under one strategy, that's when magic happens. Dimension data! You, you can't succeed alone. You can only succeed together. Go under, go under this one. That's uh, the best right. After yeah. there, left, yeah. left, and then we are. This is Paris already. Go to the tunnel. If you go under the tunnel, the tunnel, and then you go, and then you go left, okay. and you go to this point. Um, yeah. I did this one point from yesterday. You see, here we go yes. to the left. That's the point. That's right. Oh, yes. yeah, it's easy to do. It's easy. It's so easy today. <laughs> okay. Good, friends. Good job. We are almost there. I don't know. We. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not stressed. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. You made it. and <laughs> makes us, keeps us alive, you know, the heart or the, the passion, desire, the will to race, to do your best, to be motivated.
I think we all have like physical limitations. How far you're willing to push those, I think. It comes down to how much heart you have. I think it starts when you um, to have your first ride at three years old without training wheels. I think it starts there and to be honest, you get to the Tour de France and hopefully you've still got that. This race strips you of everything. Everything. You have nothing left. You become a shell. Good race, Nijolo. Good race, man. Keep up, keep up. And that is when you need to remember who you are. That is when you need to remember where you come from, where you are going, and why you are doing it. We come from all over the world, but we ride for Africa's team. to forget your room number. Three. <laughs> we are 30 odd people with uh, 11 or 12 vehicles moving every single day from hotel to hotel, hundreds of kilometers. But then you add 21 other teams, it's 4,000 people that move every day. It's literally a moving circus. to watch. People don't talk to each other, they just know exactly what their function is, when they need to do what, and how they plan their day and their time. But the days are long. It's fun being on tour. Good view to warm down to, huh? <laughs> yeah. I think went on the radio, he asked how far the corner is to go, and that's where we lost you. Yeah, because I went like right and then I went to the corner there. Yeah. I think just after the corner you were maybe on the right. Yeah, on the left. Stopped. There was one moment that completely stopped on the right there. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah, and you came on the left there. Yeah. We are in our own bubble in the tour, and uh, everyone understands that. It's not that easy to keep in touch, but we always text and luckily have a good, good wife. She's really relaxed, and everyone at home understands. So uh, that's easy for me, at least. I'm quite lucky that my wife was here now for a couple of days or so with the daughters. So it was nice to have some something a bit different, like to relax and not just thinking about it too. They really understand what we do and that we are busy. We go from racing to massage and eat dinner and it's late, late days and uh, it's not much time, so it's, it's also important to rest. Did you come in it all? Michael Valkra. Love. Dear coming. Dear Roman. Dear Ben. Thank for the opportunity you gave me. It was my first time to meet a professional cyclist. I've learned a lot of things from you and um, one day I'm gonna make it um, at the point where you are. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to get me to know you better and you to know me. I will always remember you. Thank you and good luck for, for the whole of the tour.
I wish good luck on on your stages to come in the Tour de France. I wish you all the best. I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have come. But I can only rest for a moment, for with freedom comes responsibilities, and I dare not linger, for my long walk is not ended. I think I always tried, even when I was young, to, to, to go as fast as I could. You kind of get tunnel vision where you don't really see anything around you anymore. You just see ahead of you and focus what's coming up, so it, it becomes a blur. 7k climb. Get close to 100k an hour. It, it feels fast on uh, small bikes like they ride on. You're just in your bubble, you know, and you you focus on what you're doing and you hope that the guys next to you are yeah, doing the same. <laughs> numbers are everywhere. Every measurement is expressed in numbers. Power outputs, times, speeds, gradients, distances, heart rates, positions. Cadence, performance. Every number is a piece in the puzzle. And the more pieces we have to that puzzle, the more we can see the, the bigger picture. And as we build that bigger picture, we just get closer and closer to having success. Ten more pedal strokes. But what counts? What really counts? The only thing that really counts can't be measured. Is it like a big screen or...? Or that. Um, yeah. Yeah. See you again. Yeah. See you guys. Have fun. Bye. Oh, howdy. Hey, buggy. Hi. Hey, brother. Pizza came out. Nothing is easy in the tour. They uh, actually, <laughs> you had pain in the whole body because of the heat, you know. It was like full pain because it was, it was really, really hot. So you, uh, you have nearly like cramp in the whole body. 
Oh, bike racing without pain does, uh, does not really exist. There's pain when you have to remove the plaster from your road rushes and it's stuck overnight to your body. And then comes the next level of pain that is like, well, can't finish the tour. And this is the mental pain again that kicks in. So as soon as you pin on your number, you have to accept that it will hurt. Something else, water? That's one of the most beautiful things about this sport is the places it takes you and the things you get to see. We don't play in a stadium and we don't play in a controlled environment, so we have to confront whatever comes at us. Whether it's 45 degrees and sunburn or landslides and hailstones or rain and all, all of the above. We do an outdoor sport uh, on, on, on wide open roads and beautiful landscapes and we have to live with these situations. Um, you know, it's totally unpredictable at times and yeah, I think it's one of the things that makes it beautiful. It's the 21st and final stage of the 2019 Tour de France. I don't even remember when we started in Bruxelles. Oh, it's so long ago. No, it's been uh, three hard weeks here in the, in the tour, but finishing the Champs Elysees and this weather, this yeah, crowd is amazing, so it's all worth it.